Hi everyone, my name is Leonardo Leite. I'm a PhD student at the University of São Paulo in Brazil. I'm going to talk about promoting openly available documents produced by free open source software communities and the use of software engineering research. And this topic has been conducted mainly by Mrs. Wen, a master's student also at the University of São Paulo. Open source communities produce diverse artifacts, technical reports, white papers, documentation, magazines, and blog posts. This kind of information, not controlled by commercial publishers, is also known as Grey Literature, GL. GL has advantages of its own. It provides more up-to-date information, it exposes more openly negative and non results, and helps to investigate to identify gaps in the academic literature. Given the vast amount of public documents from open source communities, we claim that researchers should investigate such resources before taking the time of contributors with surveys or interviews. However, there is not yet a precise methodology for conducting grey literature reviews, or guidelines prescribing how to cope with the specific challenges of GL. Based on our experience in conducting a GOR about the Linux kernel development model, and based on systematic literature review methodology, we present in this work challenges and adaptations for planning, selecting data sources, and selecting documents for a GOR. So now I will present some of these adaptations and recommendations. GL includes opinion-based material. Without care, it can even lead to fake news. Therefore, the credibility of GL material is a major concern. So we recommend control factors for coping with this issue. Examples used in our review. The organization or author publishing the material has some reputation. Historical facts that are Linux artifacts support the statements in the document. The variation terminology for GL can be wider than for academic literature. Therefore, define synonyms for your search terms. In our review, we search for a development model, we expanded model using culture, practice, rules, and structure. On the other hand, much of website search engines cannot properly address complex queries. Therefore, try to polish your query to be both broad and simple. Traditional reviews usually employ very well-known and prestigious digital libraries. But for GL, data sources are not so obvious. So you need a process for choosing data sources. You can web search for data sources, consult experts, gather snowballing reference from key documents, and select according to some classification. For example, we divided data sources in dealing specifically with the Linux kernel versus dealing more broadly with IT or open source subjects. So we prioritize the evaluation of specific data sources. In any literature review, there is a phase for title-based selection. However, titles in GL are often not accurate and they can also be misleading. So we recommend a speed reading, search for the keyword to quickly understand if the document meets the selection criteria. Following these guidelines, we observe the issues that are not so discussed in academic literature. Human aspects in the maintainership structure, the community subsistence, the continuous growth of the source code, and the non-regression rule. We also observe the divergences from traditional literature. For example, the current development of Linux has little of anarchy and bazaar, and much more of dictatorship or even feudalism. So we hope that the strategies reported in our paper could boost the use of GOR to address open source matters and future investigations. Well, thanks so much for watching. Please feel free to ask us questions. See you!